Yeah. How much ghost pepper did you put in here? I don't know, like fucking six to eight. Mmm. Little spoon or something? Oh, stick your finger on there, dude. It's a brine, so it's getting right away. Yeah. 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 Is it spicy? Oh, oh, oh. It's got zing to it. So what I did was uh, finally pulled out the pork belly. I let the frost for probably about three days and I just left it in this pan, covered it lightly so that the air can actually get to a little bit and it kind of dry aged it. And uh, so that takes a little bit of moisture out there, kind of cures the meat a little bit. And then the marinade I made was um, a lot of peppers. So we use some ghost peppers here. If you know, you haven't uh, seen those yet. They're hot as fuck. <laughs> I made sure I didn't have any gloves, so I put plastic bags literally on my hands. Because um, it will, uh, yeah, burn the fuck out of you. Um, so basically I got, uh, the main recipe is a ghost pepper and pineapple bacon. And it's got mustard seed in there, uh, fresh pineapple juice, and some of the fiber. Um, peppercorns, mixed chili powders, paprika, of course it's got sea salt in there, um, a balance between the sugars and the salt for the curing. I'm going to keep it in a bag for about uh, seven days. I'm going to shake it up and flip it. And after seven days, God made what? Fucking bacon. And that's what we're going to have going. So after that, what I'll do is I'll rinse it all off because this is just the brine. So hopefully um, with that salt and that sugar, it's going to just draw in all those flavors, take out some of the moisture that's still left in the bacon, and then we're going to roast it at about 200 degrees for probably a couple hours. You know, you want an internal temperature of about 50 to make sure it's cured. Um, this is a different cure than you would typically find in your grocery store. I'm not using a sodium nitrate or nitrites. There's no weird salts in there. It's all natural. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Unfortunately, this is all I got to show you, but um, look forward to seeing this, this black bag because when I open it up, I think you guys are going to be amazed in terms of like what you can really do that's really inexpensive uh, compared to what you're going to buy at a grocery store. I'm not talking that you're getting Oscar Mayer bacon or anything like that. You're getting a quality fucking bacon. Like this is pasture raised pork right here. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna slice it up and eat it. We can do uh, lardons, which is just, you know, fat chunks of bacon that you can just saute up. You can throw in a pasta. We can slice it like bacon. We can just make a uh, pork belly sandwich. There's a lot you can do with it, so. Um, you know, I appreciate Drifter Radio for, you know, doing a video for me when I do my cooking. Uh, he does a great job, really showcases what I can really do uh, that I otherwise could not do myself. And uh, I think you guys are going to be really excited.